colleges are quietly spying on prospective students all across the nation. And you might think that this is a dumb moment, but I'm not exactly referring to social media. I'm referring to data mining. So what colleges have been found to be doing um, is with specific hardware is that they're, or software rather, is that they're able to spy on students' uh, activities perhaps on their website, uh, perhaps through a certain email, and then use that data to determine whether or not the student is likely or unlikely to accept an admission to their school and then act accordingly. What I didn't realize is what a big deal it is that schools only offer uh, acceptances to prospective students that are most likely to mm -hmm. accept, um, which is kind of, it's like analogous to I want to break up with you before you break up with me kind of thing. I'm going to accept, I'm going to ask yeah. you to the dance when I'm sure you'll accept me. Exactly. Pretty much. Wow, I didn't realize how petty it was. Just it, like, well, I mean, a lot of it is actually um, money-based. So uh, I didn't realize this as a student applying to schools, uh, but they want to keep a high yield rate. You don't want a school, you don't want to have a school where you feel like nobody wants to go to it. You want a school that seems popular and desirable and not, you know, something that people would actually want to do. And if it, if when you, when you uh, send out these admission letters and then get a lot of rejections, it's not good for the school either in terms of money. So this is something they're definitely keeping their eyes on. Uh, the software that is being sold to schools is Capture Higher Ed. It is a Kentucky-based startup, um, and it's one of several companies, we're just looking at this one in particular, that sells data pulling software to colleges, helping them find better strategies for enrollment. I wouldn't say this is the major factor into whether you get accepted or not into a school, but they, they want to look at it as a way of I mean, it's it's kind of a, a self policing program. I mean, they can I use it to their it's discretion. Weird. I mean, I I feel uncomfortable about it, like most of us do about our data being mined anyway. I mean, if they look at people's social media to decide if they're the kind of person that they want to go to their school, that's perfectly fine because mm -hmm. the students are putting it out there to be seen. But they're not aware that their browser history is being observed, and I think it's invasive. And I'm not a fan. A lot of it um, is more like seeing how often they're logging onto the school website. So maybe a student who logs on frequently and has a high retention time is likely to say like, yeah, I, I like this school. Or maybe um, using targeted messages. This is very much in line with Amazon's uh, structure of uh, using data to figure out what you're likely to buy next and, and specifically targeting certain products at you, except this is with university. So, on the flip side, it could just be kids that are not very bright and keep forgetting that they've already clicked on buttons. Mm -hmm. and just are like, what? Wait, did I? Yeah, I already saw it. So they might be getting the well, completely wrong type of students yes, for a different reason. Yes, this is faulty because maybe a student has a lot of anxiety about whether or not they're going to get into the school <laughs> and they're purposely it? avoiding the website. Uh, and and this, this could, you know, I mean, people have different ways of reacting to things and mulling over things and maybe... You go to a website, all the school's website all the time because it's your dream school, but what is not being accounted is maybe you can't afford it or maybe your, your mother and father want you to go to their school and be, you know, their, their legacy there. So oh, there's that's interesting. a lot of different ways where this could go wrong. I have a question. Do you think in the interview process it's a lot like that first date where you've already creeped all over the person's Facebook page and they're like, oh, well, what were you last Halloween? Um, Never mind, I already looked at all your profile pictures. So what kind of music do you like? <laughs> I like Chumpawumba, do you? <laughs> I saw that you marked it on your profile page. <laughs> Kinda. I mean, it's not, it's not no longer okay for uh, admissions interviewers to ask, so where else are you applying? You know, and if I say oh, I'm applying to Harvard and Stanford and this school, and you know, it's clear that this school is the backup, they're gonna be like, well, all right, and take note of that. Uh, so that's not something that's an option anymore. So now it's turning more to data mining. So proponents of this software have said there's nothing wrong with this. This is how Amazon and this is how Facebook work and this is something this generation should be used to at this point. And we're just, we're tailoring toward them in this own way ourselves and we can't tell the schools how to use this software or not. It's, it's up to them. So it's kind of, it's interesting to see how this can be gamed, how this, wide net of, of data can be gamed to uh, help the school improve their own stats and ultimately their own revenues um, in this way. It doesn't really, it hasn't really been made clear which schools are using the software or similar software. Capture has been sold to 20 schools across the U.S. Uh, two named for the University of Iowa and the University of Pittsburgh. 
However, there are other software companies and there are 18 other schools that I did not mention because I don't know what they are either. Uh, do you think this is an, an acceptable way or an, an inevitable way to move on through? I mean, I think it was inevitable, but I don't think it's acceptable. And I think mm -hmm. if they're cracking down on the specific questions you can ask in person, then eventually they're going to put more restrictions onto what you can data mine. Oh, but technology moves faster than mm -hmm. rulemaking and lawmaking. So it's something to consider at least. Audience, do you think this is an acceptable way for colleges to maybe make admission choices? Would you, how would you feel if this happened to you? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.